studying Sherry's new Highlander, looking really, really sharp. Devil Girl 2. Here's Kevin. He has his own tug, so that's nice. How's it Bruce, going, Sarah? Bruce Graham, everybody. Bruce Graham. The Bruce Graham. Whoa. It's going to be a good week. How do you feel about it being the last week? It's kind of mixed emotions. It's going to be a lot of fun because there's so many people here. Um, I kind of sad 60 years. And nice to be a part of it, though. One practice I'm here at the turnaround uh, tomorrow or one of the other times I'll get at the start finish line it's it's a totally different experience down there versus here and you you want to be everywhere I want to be here there up in the stands filming but thankfully we have a week of this so I'll do my best okay so they just went down on their line and they did their I think they did their pivot we can't see from here because we're at the turnaround and halfway between the course, there's a hill. So the start finish line is a little bit hard to see or impossible to see from here. So we're listening on the radio to hear when they're ready to go. Then they'll race side by side, come to the turnaround, which is where we are. Full stop, turn around, race back. Day one practice. Reno Air Races 2023. Mm. Operations Chief Judge, feel important. You are. It's a big <laughs> job down here. Checking for scratches. If they land before the line, he has to call a scratch. And if they don't come to a complete stop, it's a penalty. If they cross over their wing, there's a few. You go lane violations. Lane violations are going to work. heading violations. So he's watching for all of that. And also, some uh, crew guys down here are looking for those things too. So. Big job at the turnaround. <laughs> Good way to get yelled at by pilots if you don't do it right. Too. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, that's another thing. So, you know, it's touchy if you get called a scratch and you feel like it's not. So we have cameras also rolling. Instant replay. in his brand new Highlander XL, so that was a big deal, very exciting. Possible lane violation for Warren, but anyways, Eddie has a throttle on his lap handle, so it's a lot different. Usually they're on the dash, and he hasn't had a lot of practice in it, so it was it was fun. I heard him kind of brop, brop it like a dirt bike going over this line. Possible scratch over here, but anyways. How exciting! Good job, Eddie. Looks really good. It's, not, it's the same engine as my dad. Uh, kind of <laughs> three cylinder Yamaha, so it's fun to see another three cylinder Yamaha Highlander out here competing. I think he should be really fast. He looks fast. That was Tim Shellhorn, and it, I always like to see him throw it into a slip. It's like very dramatic. I don't have my big lens right now, so I'll have to get it next time, but he just yanks it into a slip. It's cool to watch. He's, he got second like behind my dad last year at Reno, so I'm thinking we'll see. We'll see who Eddie might be real tough in his new Highlander XL, but yeah, I'm thinking those are the top three. We'll see. Practice day today.
really hard to tell who's coming up next, but that sounds like a pretty mean Highlander. They just pop up over that hill and surprise. Okay, here we go. Yeah. That was cool. It, I see him re-stole drag a lot, but it never gets old. That was so awesome. <laughs> They cut us 10 minutes short for practice today for whatever reason. So we're done. Everybody got at least one run in, some got two. And they'll come back in, we'll have a briefing, talk about how it all went. And then that's it for today. It's noon. So we'll just regroup and get ready for tomorrow and do it all over again. We might have more sessions tomorrow. Sometimes there's more than one. We're done. We did it. <laughs>